Welcome to your Street Razor Edge Friday Special. Street Razor shaving using light pressure and mapping out the not-so-perfect face. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving. And welcome back. It's good to see you. My one word is heart, and I put my heart into everything I do. And I believe every time you shave with Straight Razor, you're getting a better shave. Ben asked... Wow, when you land under your nose, then cut those whiskers off with a light contact swooping motion, your touch looks extra light. Is your pressure a little heavier than the weight of the blade? Great question. Let's talk about pressure starting right now. How to land your straight razor under your nose with very light pressure in a scooping action. What we'll do is we'll go in straight and we'll rotate that blade down and find that 20 to 30 degree shaving angle. Now, when you land, you need to land very gently and it's weight of the blade only, no pressure. If you land with more pressure than that, you will get cut and we don't want that to happen. How to land that straight razor on your face. First thing we're going to do is we are going to lay it flat. You, that's what you want to do. You want to lay it flat and then you want to start raising the spine like that. Now here's the thing. When you're raising it, anywhere from flat to a spine width, which is about like that, that's going to be somewhere in there is going to be the perfect angle for shaving your face. Now, as we do this, again, we put that flat on the face and we raise it up about a spine width, but somewhere in between flat and that spine width is the perfect angle for shaving your whiskers. Ben said, light pressure can only be had with sharpness. You are so right, Ben. When shaving with a straight razor, you need that sharpness because without the sharpness, you're not getting a comfortable shave. If you feel that you need more pressure for that straight razor to cut those whiskers, then most probably that razor isn't sharp enough. But keep in mind that your straight razor will be hand sharpened. It will not be machine sharpened like a double edge blade. So it will not have the same sharpness as your double edge razor. Ben said, the hardest for me was mapping out scars, burns, and moles. Watching you over the years gave me the confidence in straight razor shaving, even with my face. The first thing you should do before straight razor shaving is map out your scars. Do you have moles or anything else that you need to avoid while you're shaving? We all don't have perfect skin and some of us have more problems than others. Now, if you are one of the ones that are fortunate and have that wonderful, nice skin, then you are in good shape. The rest of us though, need this. Some of us have speed bumps that we need to watch out for. Let me show you some of mine. The first one is this mole right here, which can be a problem. Now, I also have a mole here as well that uh, is going to be a problem. And down here, I've got scars here and through here, from here to here all the way across here where I've got a line there and some lines here that are really problems. Now, I also have hair that grows here around my lip in a weird place that's just hard to get as well. So I have to work on that. Then I also have this mole up here as well, which Again, I have to be very careful with. What I have found that really has helped me is this little pair of scissors. Now, I got this out of a first aid kit. And what I do with this is I can actually go in here and kind of trim that hair 
around that mole and that really helps me a lot because I don't have to get too close to that when I'm shaving. Now up here with this one, okay, I got hair around it and I've got hair on it. And again, we don't want that razor too close to that. I just stretch with my mouth. Just like that. Clean that up from right around that vicinity and then I can get the rest with a straight razor. Now the other thing I do, I got hair here and instead of trying to put that straight razor up in that nose, I will stretch again and I will trim just like that and that knocks that down enough that I can get my razor in there and it works really well and is not dangerous which is a good thing. Now for the hair around those lips in those corners that's so hard to get with a straight razor. But I can do really good with this pair of scissors. Now this one up here, you got to get in there and kind of go at it at different angles because there's two or three things going on there. But now with this pair of scissors, I have got everything trimmed well enough that I don't have to get too close to it while I'm shaving, which is a good thing. Along with all of this, I also would suggest if you have a face like mine or, you know, you just aren't as young as you used to be, you may need to do some stretching as well. So I will grab up here on my temple and stretch and that stretches this area really good. And I will even hold that to get right here, which is really a good thing then I can grab that cheek and get that jawline really good. And I do the same thing over here. I can grab like that. And then I also, when I'm doing my south to north pass, I can also hold that neck down and lift my chin up to stretch my neck, which works really well. And like here, on each side, I can actually grab back here and pull it, blow out my cheek, and stretch this area really good. I do the same thing on this side, like that. Now, keep in mind, you don't want to overstretch, all right? You want to just get a flat surface for that razor to cut those whiskers, all right? If you overstretch, you will get ingrown hairs, which is not fun. Let me encourage you to follow these steps and you can shave with a straight razor too. Click up here to see my latest video. Click over here to see a video specially picked out for you. Click on this one to see my last close-up view shave of the day. Have a great shave and a good day, and I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.